you and Congressman Lucas, welcome back to Oklahoma. I know he always wants to get out of D.C. as often as he can. We appreciate all that you've done for agriculture in the state and, and across our nation. It's always great to be in the Lieutenant Governor's hometown of Enid, Oklahoma. He does talk about Enid quite a bit, as, as you can imagine. He is very, very proud of Enid, and we are too. It's, it's one of our outstanding communities. I appreciate our Secretary of Agriculture, Jim Reese, coming along. He loves agriculture and, and of course, uh, has been very involved and engaged for many, many decades in that, so we appreciate you. And, of course, to be able to see the film about Johnson's Feet Seed and all the great history that it's experienced for 125 years. I mean, that says something about a company that can be here before statehood and be able to make it this long. It says something about the family, its legacy, its history of providing great quality products and services and certainly seed and to be able to stay in business through all the ups and downs of Oklahoma's economy is, is quite remarkable that you earned it. I mean, you have served Oklahoma so well. And I, I was sitting there thinking about how many times I've heard my husband's family, the Christiansons up in Thomas, Oklahoma, that farm a lot, talk about Johnson Seed and all the different products they bought from you and how you've helped that family through our family through three generations of farming and ranching so it's, it's made a big impact on, on our family, too, and we appreciate you. Of course, you are the oldest and the largest seed company in the state of Oklahoma, certainly with a, a great reputation, as, as I mentioned. And, of course, to be able to have the headquarters here in Enid, but not only do you touch just Oklahoma, but I know you touch the rest of the nation in your products and services that you deliver. And who would have thought 125 years ago. Think back to those days and those old pictures that we saw that one day you'd be selling seed on a website to people from outside the state. You may not have even heard of Enid or heard of Johnson Seed, but even a website and how technology has just changed the business that you have. And of course, now you're all over the whole country, which is quite remarkable. We all know how important agriculture is to the state of Oklahoma. It's been important since the very beginning days of our statehood certainly long before that, and it will continue to be a very important part of Oklahoma's economy, and that's why we're excited that I think you're gonna have another 125 plus years, I hope, as future generations of, of the family come along and, and run this great company. But you know, agriculture has a huge impact on revenue in our state, on job creation, certainly providing food and products to Oklahoma, and as I was watching that video, I was thinking about how many lawns of people's homes have been touched by your company how many football fields golf courses i mean I, I couldn't even name all the things that your products have touched but it's quite remarkable and certainly agriculture is big in our state i was looking at some latest statistics of of how oklahoma, how oklahoma is impacted by agriculture it produces eight billion dollars of revenue that generates in in our economy which shows how big it is we have 34 million acres of agriculture production in our state, and we have over 321,000 people that have a job related to agriculture. And for 125 years, Johnson has been able to help those people develop all those jobs and opportunities and those investments to be able to create all kinds of, of businesses. So it's truly been a, a great, remarkable history for the Johnson family, but certainly the Myberger family. And I can still remember, Todd, he, you're from Enid, so you know how important the Meyerberger family is, but when I ran for office and, and Congressman Lucas was in the legislature, sat right in front of me when I was elected in 1990, but everyone always told me, when you go to Enid, you gotta meet the Meyerberger family. And I always uh, knew who they were, always busy with your father, hope he's, hope he's doing well. And they certainly have had the opportunity to work with Butch and Joey throughout the years and, and many of their family members. And how much your family has given back to our state, not just with this great company, but the generosity that you spread throughout Enid, throughout the state. And of course, I think you have this little university that you really love called OSU. Anytime I go to a football game, I always see my birds at the football game. But Lou certainly has been a patriarch of agriculture and our state has received so many different awards and just think about the family history 
going back to 1893 and how he's carried on that tradition and future generations of you will carry on that tradition is just truly remarkable. I know he's not here today and I have a very special proclamation I'd just like to present to the Myburn family on behalf of all that you've done for our great state and for Oklahoma's economy and his economy and certainly for agriculture. So I'm going to just real quickly, it's a real short one, but it's a commendation. Joey, if you'd like to come up, I'll present this to you. And it says, Johnson Seed Company, be resolved, this governor's commendation is hereby presented to Johnson Seed Company in recognition of being in business in Oklahoma for a century and a quarter. Johnson Seed has a rich history built on innovation, determination, respect and commitment to service. And it is my distinct honor to wish all of you the very best in this tremendous milestone of accomplishments which is being celebrated today, March 9th of 2018. And congratulations to a very well job done in our state. Congratulations to all of your family, to all of your employees. I don't want to forget to mention your employees because employees build a great company too. Most important part, you're absolutely right. Congratulations to you.